Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 7th through to the 13th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have Major Arcana, the moon, reversed, followed then by the Seven of Wands in the upright. Next, we have the Five of Cups, reversed. Next, we have Major Arcana, the strength card, upright. And lastly, we have the Emperor. You have three major arcana here. Could be a bit of an intense week, Leo. As things, the truth starts to emerge and things start to unfold. The moon, Pisces energy in the reverse position can indicate the truth is coming out about something perhaps that you didn't know about. Um, things are being revealed to you in a timely manner. And um, this can indicate coming out of misunderstandings. It could be with others. Um, it could be, you know, sometimes the moon in the upright position can be when we're like, the, because the confusion and the illusion connected to it and deception connected to the moon in the upright position, a lot of times misunderstandings can ensue. However, when it's reversed, if you've had a misunderstanding, perhaps with your spouse, with your friends, with your family, with coworkers, whatever the situation may be, it could be that that's being resolved. Now, uh, this week you could be seeing that the truth is emerging and you're realizing like, hey, well, maybe there wasn't... Um, <clears throat> so much need to, you know, uh, take offense to what they said, because maybe that's not how they meant it, things like that. So the truth could be revealed. This is about seeing things clearly. Also to uh, another note, um, the moon in the upright position can also point to self-deception, where we are deceiving ourselves about something. When the uh, card is inverted, this can be where we're finally uh, seeing the truth. We're unveiling it to ourselves. So there's no longer any self-deception there. Right at the beginning of the week, we see a little bit of defensive uh, energy here with the Seven of Wands in the upright position. Well, this pops up when we are feeling defensive. Now, it could be for several reasons. Sometimes it's because we have said or done something and we're not sure how it's going to be received by other people around us. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that anybody is going to challenge us. It just means that we are ready for it because we feel like, oh yeah, we've done this. or so we said, now people are going to have something to say about it. I just know they will. Feeling a little bit defensive. Sometimes this can represent uh, trying to protect our heart, trying to protect our privacy. It could be trying to protect another person. This is about, you know, just being in protective stance. Now, next energy up is the five cups in the reverse position. This is about overcoming um, emotional difficulties, disappointment, sadness, and separation from the past. Again, makes a lot of sense, right, with the moon here in reverse. It could be that something happened. You were very disappointed, very sad about the whole thing. And now you're finally in the healing process. You're finally able to look behind you and see the two cups full of promise. Because before you were just in your emotions and rightly so feeling the loss, the sorrow and the sadness because we should never deny our feelings. They are what they are, but there's a time and place for them. And then there's a time and place to move on from them. And especially when the truth is revealed. So this is a good time for you, Leo, to start the healing process once you see what's really happening here. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the beautiful strength uh, card in the upright position, full confidence. This is where we're drawing upon our own inner strength to move forward with something. It could be some of you now see the light about it because the truth has been revealed now. So you are now pulling up all of your strength after a period of healing. You're pulling all of your inner strength and uh, bringing it forward. And that's what the strength card is about. And just, it's not... Um, brute strength in any way it's just our own personal every human has even animals have that instinct of strength inside of them that's courage that's uh, there's a lion in the in the picture here you can relate to that leo the lion this, this is about pulling on that that inner strength but we don't have to show it we don't have to be brute strength about it we just need to pull it up in ourselves like pull ourselves up by the brute bootstraps and just move forward in our own strength and the last card you have is the emperor in the upright position 
Um, this is Mars ruled energy does relate to the signs of both Aries and Scorpio. It could be that those signs are important to you, uh, Pisces as well with the moon. However, when it comes to the emperor, this is a, an energy that represents a lot of control. Now control, like anything else, can be used for good, can be used for not so good. Sometimes overly controlling can be not good, but sometimes keeping control over a situation, such as keeping control over ourselves and our own emotions, not to go overboard, that kind of thing. Sometimes it's keeping control over, you know, your finances, your household, things like that, so that things don't spiral out of control. So control can be a good thing. This could be you embodying the energies of the emperor, or it could be somebody you're dealing with, maybe at work or in your home situation. The emperor can also represent a person in position of power who is ready, willing, and able to help you. So if you need assistance in any way this week, um, Leo, just reach out to someone. Sometimes this can represent, he can be like the head of a company, a CEO of a company, or someone in uh, HR position to help you if you're looking for work, that kind of thing. So that's what I have for you, my dear Leos. I really hope the reading helped you, and I can't wait to hear from you in the comment section below if this resonated for you and do tell us how so have a fantastic week thank you so much for joining me i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next week bye bye for now